Welcome back to Berm Peak. I'm Seth, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different, but kind of the same. This is a 10 scale RC crawler, and it's not unlike ones that you've probably seen before, but I bet you never seen one like this. This is a 1 6 scale RC crawler. It weighs something like 20 pounds, and it's bigger. Yeah, this is what everybody's kind of used to. This is what's considered a full-size RC crawler. And uh, yeah, this is the new standard as of today. It's $1,100, comes with a brushless motor, and you can use a 2 or 3S battery in it. We're using 4S. Now, there are gonna be plenty of other YouTube channels reviewing the SCX6 and showing you what's inside of it and how it works and all that. We're just gonna see what it can tow. The reason I want to tow stuff with this, it is absolutely tremendous. It has a huge motor in it, and it is geared super low. It's for crawling. So I'm going to rig up a way for us to tow stuff with it, because it doesn't come with a receiver. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go back to the drawing board with this. If you don't know what size something is, just keep drilling with this until it's the right size. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's tight enough. I'm pretty sure this is out of Alex's van from years ago, but like I said, I keep all the hardware and I'm not a hoarder because it's organized. All right. If anything gives, it's gonna be the whole bumper getting torn off because this is bolted on and now we can tow stuff. As you can see here, it can just, it can tow this easily. It's not even a problem. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase here. So, I mean, right off the bat, I think it wet tires, it's gonna be a matter of traction. <laughs> not even a problem. <laughs> we have entered a new realm of laziness. Oh crap, we're going too fast. Jack Knifter. Okay, put your feet up. I got the front wheels on the concrete. Yup, slowly but surely. Once those back wheels hit the concrete, oh. Now it's not even a problem. <laughs> I'm thinking this thing can put in some work for us. Wow, this is just so awesome. All right, we already know it's not gonna tow the Gator because we could barely tow the freaking Gator with a bicycle that was geared down and like, I don't know, I'm pretty strong. Probably stronger than this thing. I'm gonna just try very slowly. It's almost got it. I have an idea. I'm just gonna try this really slowly. This weighs a lot. See, I'm just providing this thing with traction by pushing down on it, and it's pulling the gator, no problem. So it's a matter of this not having enough weight, not a matter of power. It was going easily, so, I mean, can I sit on this thing? Did that just really happen? Looks like the weather's clearing up a little bit. Let's do a damage check because do you think it's designed to do that? All the wheels are seated. Suspension looks like it loves it. I think, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious what we do next. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the body took on a little bit of damage. I can't say that I'm surprised. The rest of the machine appears to be in pretty good shape. I think it's time for another tow challenge. It doesn't like that, does it? Okay, it can't tow a Ford Explorer. Yo, it switched itself back into park. I kept putting this freaking thing in neutral and then it would like automatically switch into park or not let me. These freaking things are so electronic. So I was trying to tow it in park and messing up the transmission on my crawler. What the hell? We're gonna try again. Hopefully the transmission will hold up. Freaking new cars. <laughs> okay. That like hurt because if we if that didn't happen, it would have towed it fine and the tran that transmission would have held up. Now it makes all sorts of clicking noises. Actually, let's check it out. Is this messed up? Oh. I don't know. I might need some parts. Ooh, that's something in the transmission. I don't know whether it's the pinion or whether it's something else, but there's probably a couple broken teeth there. I mean, obviously you're not supposed to tow an SUV. That's 3,500 pounds. I mean, that was pretty good. I don't know, I'm impressed with this thing. How about you? That's 3,500 pounds. Like that's actually with the towing capacity of a stock four-door Jeep Wrangler is. Yeah, this tows as much as a normal Jeep Wrangler. All right, so I figured out what happened. There's a hexagon in here, like all RC car wheels, and it got completely rounded out. And so it just unscrewed the bolt. Now, I don't know if it's so rounded out where it can't be used, but I know that as long as we're not towing anything that's like 3,500 pounds, it should be okay. Okay, so the transmission is definitely running rough. I don't know what we were expecting. Of course, there's, there's a couple of little things wrong with it, but these are minor things. It doesn't look like the chassis is bent. It doesn't look like any of the linkage has problems. I am thoroughly impressed. So I hope you enjoyed testing the SCX6 as much as I did. I'm gonna send an invoice to Ford Motor Company for my transmission because uh, that thing should not have changed into park. I mean, that's just, that's just a stupid feature. As for this thing, it is just incredibly durable, and the fact that it's so big makes it so realistic and fun to use. To me, these are my two favorite sizes, the SCX24 and the SCX6. This is super portable, this is super realistic and rowdy and fast, and it's got two gears, and it's just sick. If you're interested in knowing more about it, I left a link below where you can find it. And thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time. Oscar, you do not stand a chance against this thing.